I've always hated the movie Thelma and Louise. It was sold to us as, as a woman's film, but in the end, it was not. Mm -hmm. How could a women's film kill off its two heroines in the end? That mm -hmm. to me is no woman's film. Though it was written by a woman, it is a man's film about two women who went outside the parameters of acceptable behavior and had to kill themselves to avoid unjust punishment. To me, that is not a woman's film. Mm. But I digress. <laughs> Yesterday, I and another woman on the Garden State Parkway almost killed ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> on an on-ramp to the Garden State Parkway where I was driving with the right of way onto the ramp out of the token booth lanes. Was that the issue? Did I have easy pass and she didn't? In a frightening moment, I pull ahead of the woman who then proceeds to initiate a drag race with me. <laughs> Gunning our motors like the idiots in Rebel Without a Cause, and for that matter, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> two women engaging in motorized battle at the on-ramp of the Garden State Parkway, gunning our motors, racing to move ahead of each other, and she finally does and cuts me off, and I blow my horn for a full two minutes, <laughs> racing up behind her as we emerge onto the parkway. And so furious am I that, I that that this woman drag races me onto the ramp and cuts me off, that as I see her veer into the far left lane, I gun my motor, floor the gas pedal, pedal to the metal, you with the lead foot, as my father used to say, and pull into her fast lane, three car lengths ahead of her. I'm not asking for an accident at this point, simply <laughs> want to make a point. Mm -hmm. I make my point and see that I actually don't have far to go in this goddamn Garden State Parkway anyway. See my exit coming up on the right, pull back over to get into the lane that will take me off to this god take me off of this goddamn parkway, victorious in some speeding motorist sick way. And from out of the blue, this woman wears her car into the lane next to me and into my lane, literally trying to run me off the road. I see an inch of breath between our fenders. She's running me off the road onto the shoulder. So what I didn't believe she was trying to do, willing to do to me at first, I now know is the truth. This is, this is not just some macho feminist act of speed. Oh, my car has better pickup than your car. My dick is bigger than your dick. Or I guess my vagina is wider than yours. <laughs> <laughs> What she actually wants is to hear metal against metal, wants to crash into me with no concern whatsoever for her life or mine. She actually is willing to kill herself to prove her point. For me coming that close to the kind of rage that I have felt before in my life, perhaps only once and that was, you know, over being jilted by someone I thought I could not live without. Someone who, you know, hurt me so badly, I could only think satisfaction would come if I will, you know, end his life. <laughs> kill him. Take a shot, <laughs> blow him away, whatever the jail sentence, the electric chair, whatever the consequences. <laughs> Hadn't felt this kind of, you know, this kind of close to the edgeness before. Was it this woman? I mean, I mean, did I have a highway bonding with a woman who had just been jilted? <laughs> and my body having known, moaned this kind of rage, once having opened that door, that addiction need only come nose to nose or fender to fender with this same rage once again. And lo and behold, I'm right back there, willing to put my life on the line to prove a point. And what is the point uh, I am proving? Here on the Garden State Parkway. <laughs> Honey, I have just as much rage as you. An African-American woman, by the way, not that that should be significant, but probably is. <laughs> Honey. I have more of nothing to lose than you, honey. Nothing is more important to me in my life, in this life, than expressing my rage. My life is not more important than expressing my rage. And suddenly I am in that open top blue convertible with Thelma and Louise, with my mother, my grandmother, my aunts and cousins, with all the women in the world who are so filled with rage that we are willing to throw ourselves off a cliff rather than ever again feel silenced or tyrannized, pressurized or repressed or oppressed or jilted or lied to or chased from the rifle spot in the easy pass lane on the on-ramp to the <laughs> State parkway in goddamn new jersey of all the fucking places to die 
<laughs> I believe it was at least the Grand Canyon that Thelma and Louise flew into. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yay.